Happy Tuesday Eve to all you Red Shavers. That's my uh, glorious little way of saying Happy Monday. So, um, luckily I'm on a three-day work week this week. My son has a wrestling awards banquet on Wednesday night, so I'm off after, uh, well, first thing Wednesday morning, I'm done until Sunday night. So, not a bad gig. Any which way, today I am going to be shaving with... PAA's Good Vibrations. This is like one of my favorite scents I have. So you've probably seen me use this a time or two. Um, you've probably seen me use it another time or two. But like I said, this Boardwalk Barbershop scent, it is amazing. Intoxicating. This is probably my favorite scent that I have. And I do have quite a bit of good stuff. But any which way. Um, I'm going to be using the 3824 Savile Row as well as the vintage um, recreated by Lather Me Whiskers the vintage Frederick Reynolds Sheffield Razor this is, I believe is the 1880's if I remember correctly and we do have the matching splash to go along with the good vibrations so um, I am going to uh, what the face and we're going to use the cube today um, I saw another guy using the cube not too long ago and one thing that that works for me I mean it might not for you but um, as far as helping not only boost your lather but also help the uh, cooling effect kick in I have an old crappy brush that I use to uh, work this stuff in so I just figured I'd give a quick little demo in case somebody was wondering how I did it. If not, I mean, if it works for you, you know, just leaving it like this, then great. Um, it does help boost your lather if you work it in. So, I mean, it's for those who do use this. I mean, I've been growing quite fond here lately of... Um, actually using these frost drops by Sterling um, as far as for the cooling effect because I do have some soaps that cause some irritation on the skin um, so like I said the old crappy brush the Viking Revolution um, I just end up getting that wet which has already been soaked but and then I just use that to work in the start of a lather and since I'm going to be face lathering with this good vibration soap, this is a, a good baseline start. You see, this thing loses hairs left and right, and so this is about all it's good for anymore. And it's fairly scratchy, so I mean, if you use this brush too much, you're bound to get brush burn. I mean, at least babies like me, anyway but it served its purpose. So, any which way, I'm going to pour the bloom water out of the tub and we'll load it like we hate it. Very thirsty soap, so I don't know that we're going to need to use too much. I mean, <laughs> I'd say we probably have enough Throw the excess on the face, and we'll just get to working. Let the brush work that crap in. Just a little more to get off of this tub. For those of you who haven't used Phoenix Artisan soaps, they are very thirsty soaps, so you are going to have to feed it some water without a doubt so we'll just get to rolling here and I 
I have a feeling I'm going to be at this in a minute, so I may just put you guys on hold till I get this loaded up. So, without further ado, hang tight, guys. All right, I'd say we're about there. Uh, I did miss one little spot right here, and then I'm going to hit the alum block real quickly, but I was afraid of getting timed out. That needed a lot of water. So, as incidental as it was, I overloaded. <laughs> But, we'll still find a way to work with it. Okay, so, do a little alum block treatment underneath the neck, which helps big time, and then right back here, this helps for grabbing and stretching. we can get to rolling. Alright, so Frederick Reynolds Vintage with the custom scales made by Lather Me Whiskers. Let's roll here guys. She's definitely cutting. I don't know if you can see it. Well, it takes a while to get that zoomed in, so just take my word. It's cutting. So, and I know I have said this before, but part of the reason that I particularly enjoy using straight razors more often than DEs, and don't get me wrong, I do DE shave, you know, a, probably a day or two, a day a week usually, but just like now, um, I tend to show a lot more respect to the straight razor. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but yesterday, <laughs> I don't know how, I've used this razor quite a few times before. I ended up cutting my lip here and over here. And it's a DE slant that I've used probably 30 times. But just at whatever point you get careless and then you get to the other side and you're like, okay, it's not going to happen over here. Sure, shit happens there. <laughs> and then you end up tasting styptic pencil for a while because of you know your carelessness you know sometimes when you make a mistake and you try so hard not to make it you know the one often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it that was the case so you know I'm trying not to jinx myself today but But, yeah, I mean, I, I, and it's not that I don't respect any razor, so <laughs> please don't take it that way. It's just the best way I can make sense of this. I'm much more cautious with the straight razor, and not near as cavalier, if you will, than I am with the DE. So... You know, despite the fact that it's not a straight razor you're shaving with, it can still cut you all the same. I mean, I get cut now worse with the DE than I do with these. As careful as I try and be with them. Damn, this is the hardest part, lining it up on the right-handed pass. I have a feeling if my camera were over there, 
then it would be just the opposite if I was shaving with my left hand then, trying to get it lined up initially. Looks like I probably could have hydrated this soap just a little bit more, but that'll be easier to do now that it's all in the brush for the next pass. Trying to be real quick right there, so I got the other side here and there. So, Okay, so not a bad first pass. I will uh, put you guys on hold and I'll tell you what, I'll bring you guys back for, well hell, we'll come back for the second pass and then I'll do the third pass off camera. So hang tight, give me a minute. Okay, we're back. I was afraid of getting timed out. I definitely added some hydration to this. So hopefully we don't have any issues. Might be able to use just a little bit more. Like I said, PAA soaps do tend to be very thirsty soaps, so maybe I overhydrated. Oh well, it's hard to drown this soap. It is very slick, and uh, it does provide a lot of cushion as well. I mean, if you want to blow this stuff up and look like Santa Claus, you definitely could. I don't really feel the need. But, you know, let's say we're going to go with this. Alright, so, like I said, I, I've done enough of the third pass on camera. Everybody's seen that enough times. We'll do the money pass as you if you will by the way I can throw the cap back on now that I don't have to reach over the head so Nigel why the hell are you sitting back there Lord Nigel's down there <laughs> if you didn't already hear me yell at him just now all right so against the grain here we go Before, and by the way, this probably isn't overhydrated or close, but no bloops. Not until I take the finger across and flick it into the sink, that is. chin.
So, for those of you who are still watching, <laughs> um, my uh, wife, son, and I finally picked out a place to go on vacation. We're going to be going up the coast of Maine to uh, a town called Stonington, which is just below um, Acadia National Park. Um, one nice thing about that, if we decide to go back to Acadia, we've been there once before, but um, if we go back, I now have a uh, Lifetime National Parks Park Pass for being a disabled veteran, and um, I think we'll definitely get to explore the park a little more. Plus, last time we stayed in Portland, that's a four-hour drive. Um, this time it's like maybe 45 minutes away. So we got a lot more time to putz around and check out not only Acadia but Bar Harbor as well. Family's pretty big on New England type stuff. We love the seafood, love the atmosphere. The only thing I don't care for a whole lot, and <laughs> I'm sure some people can empathize, uh, at least when you're around that Boston influence, people sometimes drive like assholes. But <laughs> now, I I'd have to ask some of my New England friends, if that's like a, uh, a rite of passage or a birthright <laughs> up there, um, I, I don't know. I just know that, you know, when I've been up in Maine, the more plates I see that say Massachusetts on them, the more indicative it seems that their style of driving. So, <laughs> you know, that's just from what... I can gather being up there. Maybe Anthony Esposito could shed a little light on that subject. I mean, he's from Rhode Island, which a little south of the uh, the turmoil, if you will. Cool. That was close. It just kissed my nose. Nothing. Whew. We left out there. You know, given yesterday cutting myself, we're good enough. So, I'm going to take care of third pass off camera. And I will see you guys for the post shave. So give me a few minutes, hang tight, whatever. Maybe I'll throw a little snippet in between here. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, we are back. So, like I said, I just took care of the across the grain pass. By the way, this is the Bruin Dubliner. Showing my love for the New England folks. Like I said, the uh, the bit about <laughs> driving like assholes was just a joke. Um, please don't anybody take that serious. Like I said, um, there are a lot of asshole drivers just about anywhere you go. So, and pardon my French, okay, I know that uh, a few of my friends do have kids that watch. So, we'll just say jerks, alright? There are people everywhere that drive like jerks. There are people in Ohio that drive like jerks. Um, I guess I just noticed quite a, a bit of it. Up, the closer I got to Boston, the more aggressive we'll just say that people drive. So <laughs> we're gonna go with the Thayer's Witch Hazel. And in complete defense of those people in New England that are watching that, that might have taken a little umbrage to what I just said, I have been in New York too, and. It's the same exact story, so, um, <laughs> I'm 
Chicago. They're rough. Believe it or not, when I lived down in Norfolk, Virginia, they were dicks too. So, it's just my funny little bit. Alright, so please don't anybody take that serious. Nothing worth getting your panties in a bunch or boxers, whatever. <laughs> so, we're going to go with the unscented balm. Two pumps of that looks like more than enough. At least I would think it is. Now, I will say this. Okay, so I want the third. Oh yeah, I set this in here. I still need it. So, today we did go with PAA's Good Vibrations. This stuff is an amazing intoxicating scent. We did have the matching aftershave. I will shake that up and use it. By the way, those of you who haven't used this stuff, this is no joke. There is a lot of alcohol in here, and be ready for the burn. Some of you might scream like Kevin from Home Alone. Alright? Just saying. Because even though I don't scream like Kevin from Home Alone, I probably want to. Alright? Oh, and this stuff pours out very quickly. So we'll get the back of the neck first, and then hit the face. <sighs> we'll live. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not terrible. Oh, the scent, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> if you guys had smell-o-vision. Oh. Oh. Those of you guys who do end up getting this scent, my wife does like it. You'll be beating women off with a stick. All right? I'm just saying. You better be carrying around your pimp cane and be ready to start whacking people with it because every one of them's like, what are you, what are you wearing? What do you have on? Said, That's just me. <laughs> Any which way, guys. All right, so, like I said, today we used the vintage Frederick Reynolds Lather Me Whiskers recreation. Nice edge on it, too, by the way very comfortable and we went with the splash and soap this is the CK6 version by the way um, I did end up giving I got this splash with the CK1 version I gave the CK1 version to a co-worker who's just got into wet shaving and hope he likes it but um, but yeah good vibrations by Phoenix Artisan accoutrements this stuff banger scent and like I said, you'll be needing a cane to beat women off with you if you're wearing this stuff. It's Even women find it completely intoxicating. So, alright. Now, I'm finally saying goodbye to you guys. It's Monday night. You'll see this on Tuesday. So maybe Tuesday I'll have to do tobacco for tobacco Tuesday. I don't know. Maybe next week. Any which way, guys. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing below. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Keep your shaves clean. Keep them wet. Later, guys.